Good morning, good evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It is I, your friendly neighborhood rave, saying, hello, hi, how you doing? So I wanted to do something different. I wanted to interrupt your regularly scheduled music, guitar, singing, extravaganza broadcasts that I usually do every week. Every week, guys. I haven't missed a week in 2021. Fingers crossed. I'll keep it going. I wanted to interrupt that and give you kind of a lay of the land. And by lay of the land, all I really mean is just to tell you what's going on in Spells and Curses world, what you have to look forward to. But before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button down below. Turn that sucker blue. It really helps out with the algorithm and gets this video out and helps out my channel quite a bit. I'd really appreciate it. Please. So what's up with Spells and Curses? What is happening? What's the deal? What's the issue? What's the biz? The band met up back in January and we had a couple of jams and we were working out new songs and it was great. Well, that had to be put on pause though because I eventually was in contact with somebody who eventually got COVID. So I had to, you know, quarantine and I had to do all that. But by the time that was fully underway, I had to basically hit the ground running, continuing with the recordings. And right now that's been the number one thing that has been on my plate basically finishing up all the recordings now you might be asking yourself how hard is it why is it taking so long well folks for every one good song that any songwriter ever writes they've probably written a hundred crappy ones <laughs> and that's being very generous and it's no different for me i cannot tell you how many cringy songs how many trite blah songs i have and i'll never release them and you'll never hear them. It's just that when I pick the good ones, they're usually the ones that are difficult to record for a number of reasons. Either you can embellish them and go really, really crazy with them in terms of just adding layers and making it more epic and just all that stuff. Or you could go the other route, which is kind of also what I do. And that is take forever on getting like the sweet take, not the perfect take, because it's not about getting notes perfect. It's about getting the emotion to convey better. Do you have it within yourself as a recording artist to convey whatever emotion it is you're trying to like let out on the track, can you make somebody feel the exact emotion you're trying to get them to feel through the song? A lot of times when I record something and I listen back and I'm like, ah, oh, that was okay. I played everything right, but it's missing that gusto. It's missing that underlying current of true emotional power. That takes a while to get down. And that's just for the instruments, right? Cause then boys and girls, children of all ages, oh Lord then we have the vocals and if you know anything about me it's that i am really hard on myself when it comes to vocals the good thing that i can say about that is that the longer that i have been singing the better i have gotten both in my confidence and what i can do my range and controlling all that and then sort of like figuring out how to convey emotions and also like handling sort of the endurance and stamina of singing i mean it's not that much of an issue now because we're not really doing shows now but still if you're recording and you're recording every night you're still singing every night and you want to do it in a way where you don't hurt yourself. So I'm getting better at it. I, I do I do feel that. But there is no sort of experience level that will guarantee you will hit a home run <laughs> emotionally for the track that you're trying to record. And can you see that back, back there, by the way? That's like the, that's part of the progress chart. You can't, you shouldn't be able to see anything. I dim the lights for that specific purpose, but that's the progress of the songs that are going to be coming on the first album or the first album that I'm working on. First album, Rave? What, what, what do you mean by first album? Brace yourself, right? You, you might want to sit down for this, but I'm basically recording four albums at once. I know what you're thinking, and you're right. That is stupid and pretty crazy, but it's also kind of just what happens when you're writing nonstop. I got to a point, basically, particularly um, early this year, where I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I have all these songs. Let me just start recording them. Not think, just be very, what's it called? Um, tunnel vision myself into getting these songs finished and recorded. And let's only focus on that. And in doing that, I, you know, had progress charts and all that stuff. And I realized in the middle of everything, oh, wow, I've got material for like four albums here. And these are the songs that I chose out of the hundreds that I wrote. These are the, uh, I don't even know how many there were, probably like 40, 50 or so songs that I'm like thinking. And even, even you know, out of those 40 and 50, it's probably more than 50. Even, even out of those songs, not all of them are going to make it. Anyway, but while recording them, I was able to basically realize that I have four albums worth of material. And then I was like, oh my God, how am I going to get this all done? Because another thing is I'm getting all these tracks done myself. Now, there's a lot of reasons for why that is. The biggest one being like the convenience and the health safety precaution of it all we can't go back to recording the way we did in 2019 with houston hill in mantis mansion for obvious reasons covid being a huge one another thing is that it's just like kind of easier to have the quality control when there's i don't want to say less hands but there's less people to go to it speeds up the process when the bass line's done and the drum line's done 
the guitar lines are done and they're done ASAP. They're done quickly because they're done by one guy. And that's not a brag. That's not a flex. It's just, again, the best way to keep efficient right now for this current situation. The downside of that, the negative side of that is I am only one man. And motivation, energy lasts you so long. And then you have life stuff, bills and friends, family, uh, all these things, right? On top of just trying to survive and stay alive in a post world. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to say post I meant to say new times, the new age, because I don't want to get demonetized by YouTube. That brings me to the second news item that I would like to share with you guys. By the time you're watching this, I will be far removed from pretty much all the internet. I will be undergoing a week-long digital cleanse. That means no internet at all. No apps, no nothing. Maybe maybe like an email to like family or friends if, if it's urgent, but I, again, nothing. If you recall, last year, I went on a three-day internet cleanse. Not because I chose to, I was more or less kind of forced to do it because my internet was kind of crappy. It was a whole ordeal, but we're here now. And the aftermath of that, or rather the results of that, were pretty, pretty astounding for me. In that three-day internet cleanse that I went on, I was so productive. I was on fire. I was getting things done. I was working out. What? I was working out. I know. I was getting songs done. I was really, really productive and I liked it. And it was only three days. It was such a profound kind of realization for me that I even made a vlog about it, which I will link up above for you guys to check out just to see what I learned from that moment. And I figured, you know what? I should probably do that again, but really, really go into it and go into it not because I was forced into it, but because I want to. Now you might be wondering, what am I going to be doing during that week? Usually the answer to that would be recording. That's kind of what I do all the time. But you see, that's the problem. It's literally what I do all the time. I'm not kidding. Your boy has no life outside the studio. And that's a problem. And that brings me to my third point. I'm trying to get to a place where I am comfortable outside the studio. Whenever I'm not working or whenever I'm not recording or doing something related to music, I feel really guilty. And I feel like I am wasting my time and, and yours, especially last year. Last year was a mess. Let's not even get started. But I felt like um, if I could, if I could go back in time to last year, I totally would, and I would just somehow, some way, find a way to just force myself to do more. But even thinking about it upsets me because I don't like how how um, wasteful that makes me feel, and that's also kind of a problem because especially these days, you have to be mindful of your mental health. You have to take care of yourself. You have to go out of your way to to take care of yourself and treat yourself as it were. So going back to my week-long digital cleanse, what I'm going to be doing during that week is I'm actually going to be hitting up South Carolina, Johnston, South Carolina. As a matter of fact, if you're in the area, hit me up. Oh, wait, you can't because I'll have no internet. <laughs> but long story short, I'm going to be hitting up South Carolina, going to see some friends. I mean, honestly, I don't even know what, what we're going to do. This is going to be my first time in a long time, perhaps three years, where I don't have wake up, record on the schedule. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I really don't. I don't know if that's going to push me back further away from my target dates or if it'll supercharge my batteries to come at it full speed ahead, you know? And I know what you're thinking. It's a post-apocalyptic world, avoiding that demonetization from YouTube. How do you feel comfortable? And the answer to that is I don't necessarily feel comfortable, but I can't necessarily wait on my butt until the world gets quote unquote better or back to normal. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that looks like. I can't imagine anybody else does. The time is now, and I hope that in saying this, whoever's watching this can also understand that if you're thinking about doing something or you're not sure about taking a plunge into something because either the, the state of the world, give it a shot. I don't know. Everybody has to decide for themselves. I haven't been on a quote unquote adventure in a while. A lot of these songs are about things that or are about feelings that I felt not a while ago. They're not old at all, but Actually, a lot of them are fairly new. That being said, I think it was just inevitable for me to really want some sort of change of scenery and the fact that I'm going to see a friend that I haven't seen in a while uh, down there is going to be helpful. It's just kind of, it's going to be a nice kind of reset. I'm going to defrag my brain, as it were. I look forward to it. I have absolutely no plans. I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know two things. One, I'm going to be documenting the experience. If there's anything of interest, you will most definitely see it because it will be captured and shared. And two, there will be music gear there. And that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be pressured to record or write or whatever, but it's there. So if inspiration strikes, I will be able to capitalize, which is great. But again, I mean, if, if it's just a total snooze fest and a bore where it's just literally me sitting on a hammock or something, just going like, well, this is fun. How much longer till we go back? I mean, you won't, you won't see an uploaded anything of that but I'm hopeful. And that's basically it. That's the status of Spells and Curses and the many songs I'm working on at the moment. Um, trying to get it out to you as soon as possible. Just gotta take some me time. With that said, thank you guys for watching. If you watched this far, please comment down in the comments section below with the word, let's say, cleanse. Just write cleanse, cleanse. 
cleanse, cleanse one of us. And let me know. Let me know. Do you do you need a cleanse? Do you need a digital cleanse? Do you need another kind of cleanse, perhaps? Is everything okay with you? Are you feeling okay? Maybe it's the internet. Maybe you should stay off that internet thing. I'm just saying. Think about it. As always, love you guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Peace. <laughs>